perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Luton Town taking on Chelsea. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Andreas Christensen plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. And Goro Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And operating an attack today is Romelu Lukaku. Harry Kornick. And a goal kick is the outcome. Romero Lukaku, a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on. Stuart, you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Jorginho. Read it well. Lukaku. Lukaku. Well, flinging himself at it. And now the delivery. Well, he almost headed it in. Amari Bell. Lansbury now. Bradley. Oh, the pass not finding its target. And a throw in it's going to be. Marcos Alonso. Romelu Lukaku now. Making progress. Beautifully disguised ball. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick somebody out with that cutback. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. goal for Chelsea. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Perfect example of how to execute a slide tackle. On and on he goes. Conte. Couldn't grab hold of it. And you don't want to lose possession there. This looks threatening, and he might be in here. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, he could run onto it here. He's in behind. Alonso. Now with Jorginho. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Can he take advantage? It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. Chelsea goal. So 2-0 now. Nice switch of play. Lansbury. Really getting stuck in. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. 
And that was a very fine read. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Lukaku. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Good pressure. Can they make something of this? That is that for the first half here. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Number 17, Heli Rudik Mapanzu. And number 29, Amari Aydel. Coming onto the pitch, number 24, Fred Onyedimna. Number 35, well, sloppy in possession. And number 18, Jordan Clark. A really sumptuous ball. Superb stop. Well, he took care of it defensively. Well, they're playing with greater purpose now, and the fans are responding. Just cutting off the supply. Well, they pressed Aspiniqueta high. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Pressing high to win the ball. Now showing excellent vision. Vigorous defending. And the referee wasn't going to let that go. And the play stopped. They will make the change now. And this to reduce the deficit. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here we can see it again, and it's a good penalty, you have to say. Straight down the middle, keeper's committed, and all he can do is watch it sail in. Cool as you like. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Taking it forward now, Lukaku. Marcos Alonso. Did well to win the ball back. And the cross is very much on. Able to deal with the threat. It is now with Jorginho. Mount. Can he do it? It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Not showing good defensive judgment. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Oh, he's through here! And the keeper will happily collect that one. And they do like to press whenever they can. Well, it was completely miscontrolled. Yet again, just couldn't seem to maintain possession. We wonder who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Jerome take it away oh he's really opened them up here is it going to be and pushed onto the woodwork Onyedinma just 10 minutes remaining here James Bree. Campbell. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue.
Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Goals in plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. A foul that most certainly was. Free kick given. Good use of advantage by the referee. Jerome. Tom Lockyer. And he's clear as lines. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Good officiating. Waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him. Very much run of the mill as saves go. And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. But it was a fantastic showing from Christian Pulisic. Stuart, keen to get your assessment. What caught your eye in particular? Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork. But his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive.